Hi, I'm George Coopers, VP of Service at Centresis Corporation in Kenosha, Wisconsin. For the 30 years that I've been working on centrifuges, I can tell you firsthand that bearing problems are some of the most common issues that we address here at Centresis. They can be quite costly, so let's talk a little bit about diagnosing them. All decanter centrifuges have two sets of bearings, internal and external. Internal bearings are low speed bearings, usually under 10 RPM, that allow the scroll to turn at a slightly different speed than the bolt. This is called the differential speed and controls the speed at which the solids move through the machine. The internal bearings are located inside the head walls at both ends of the centrifuge. Symptoms of internal bearing failure can be a loud rumbling or rattling sound, almost always accompanied by high vibrations. Diagnosing damage is relatively simple. If you suspect internal bearing damage, we recommend to do a grease purging of the bearings. This not only flushes the contaminants, but it also a good indicator of this condition of the bearing. Dark but smooth grease is a good sign that the bearings are not damaged. Rusty colored grease with grit, metal filings, water or moisture, or a bad smell are not good and an indicator that the bearing has been compromised. Ignoring these signs can cause more damage and higher repair cost, so do not ignore them. Unfortunately, once an internal bearing is damaged, it needs to be replaced. If you want to avoid a surprise shutdown of your centrifuge, we recommend replacing the internal bearings every 15,000 hours of use. Now let's talk about external bearings. External bearings, or main bearings, are high-speed bearings that allow the rotating assembly to turn. These bearings are located on each end of the centrifuge and often spin at 3,000 RPM. Main bearing failure is serious and will bring the entire centrifuge to a complete standstill in a very short period of time if they cease. Main bearing damage can also cause other component damage. Some early indicators that your main bearings are compromised are loud roaring noise as soon as the machine starts turning, with the pitch increasing steadily as the machine accelerates. This may show up as a high vibration reading on the control panel, but quite often it doesn't. It is important to listen to your centrifuge. Be aware of any uncommon noises. If you suspect your main bearings are compromised, first put a stethoscope on the centrifuge to listen to the bearing sound. If you hear the same unusual running noise, chances are the main bearings are damaged. A frequency analysis of the main bearings can also confirm damage. We recommend changing the main bearings every 15,000 hours of use to avoid unexpected damage. Indicators of bearing damage are rust, spots, and indentation lines on the bearing race. If you have any questions about service, repair, or maintenance on any brand of decanter centrifuge, please give us a call at Centresis. 262-654-6006.